Hey, Q here. So I'm here at the bookstore for Emerald College at the Washington Street campus. They're going to show me how to work here. I'm going to get to check some people out, maybe help some people figure out where the books they need and what kind of class they're taking. So let's go and see what's going on. So as you can see, we have a lot of customers. Cool. So uh, y'all are super busy today. Why are y'all so busy? I think everybody waited until school started to get their books. Really? Uh, yeah. I have a book here that I actually uh, wrote myself. Do you think, are y'all selling that here? I, you know what? I don't know. It's uh, Five Keys to Success by Quentin Marquez. <laughs> What's this box? It's a box. It's a basic supply toolkit for what class? Machine shop. Machine shop. Machine? You're going to make a transformer, aren't you? It's classified. For only you how much? For $210, you can make a transformer. Here, just... Yeah, one, it's have an yeah. Take these books here. That's all you need right there. Just go ahead and go. Just go ahead and check out over there and it'll take care of you. <laughs> I'm just joking. Hey, I'll, I'll let you do your job. I'll let you find the real books because obviously I don't know where anything is. What is uh, All Instructors East Campus Handyman in Your Pocket? I don't know what that is. Obviously, it's good. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let's get out of here. So, as you can see, I'm back here in the stock room. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Britton, what are you doing back here? You're bugging all my employees. Now, if you're going to be back here, you're going to have to do something worth your weight. Okay? <laughs> How about moving these boxes over there? All right. Can you do that? I, I, you what? think you can handle it? Maybe. Okay. Well, they're heavy. All right. Where do you want them? Just put them right over here. <clears throat> That'll just keep you out of trouble. You just stay back here where you're not causing any trouble, okay? Cut. Well, apparently I'm no help here at the bookstore. Maybe next week, whenever I try another job, I'll do a little better. It's time for another Badger BS. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to the award-winning Badger BS. The only show that makes some beef jerky in the back of the set. That's I'm the smell. That's the smell. That's smell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As always, I'm your host, Q, and today I have Mr. Chris Perez. Yes. Bam, instructor at Emerald College. How have you been, bud? Well, I'm not an instructor anymore. I have one more month here, then I'll be on my way out. Oh, yeah, I heard something about that. This guy's got yeah. one more month. He's jumping ship. He's Jump, jumping ship. Jumping ship. On to bigger and better things. Where are you head to? We've got a cardboard box. Uh, I-35 and Lovers, somewhere around there in Dallas. Oh. It's a nice cardboard box. It's like a, is it a refrigerator box or like a, like a washing machine box? I don't know. I just hope it's waterproof. Because all cardboard's waterproof, right? Yeah. All right. See how, uh, how you do with that. Yeah. Well, uh, so you remember how the show goes. We're going to go and pick a couple of topics out here and talk about them. Yes, let's do that. Sweet. Oh, yeah, and if you're wondering why our set isn't like our other set, it's because we borrowed a different set from Panhandle PBS. So thanks yeah. to them, we got all these colorful squares and... Uh, things hanging behind me instead of the regular well, set. I mean, there's like one square. The rest are rectangles, technically. Uh, to each his own. But whatever. Okay, so Hillary Clinton. Wait, what? Hillary Clinton. Sounds familiar. No. Let's do it. Hmm. No. Hillary Clinton, no. It says Andrew Alexander, and then it says <laughs> Hillary Clinton. I thought it was Hillary Clinton like at school. I was like, she doesn't even go here. <laughs> she doesn't go here she anymore. Anymore. She used to. She used to. Hillary Clinton is alumni of AC, yeah. but... But all it says, Alexander, Alexander says, Hillary Clinton, what do you think? <laughs> so he says, Hillary Clinton, what do you think? So are, are we supposed, is one of us Hillary Clinton? Is he asking, is this a I role I don't know if she thing? wants me to be Hillary Clinton or if we're asking about how we feel about Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have any political views. I don't have any political views at all. Like, I don't take either side. I could be whatever I need, you want me to be, really. Yeah. So yeah. when it comes to Hillary Clinton, Thing. And what do I think? I think she's a lovely lady. I do. Yeah, she's in love with, with, with a lady? No, I say she's a lovely oh, lady. Oh, I think she's in love with a lady. I'm like, yeah, of course. She could be in love with a lady. She could. I but mean, she... I have heard rumors. Unconfirmed rumors by a person who used to work. This is like the last show we'll ever have because Hillary the White Clinton House. is going to get people to... To kill me. To kill this guy. I would and I'm out of a job. I would love... Okay, so my opinion is I would love to be killed by Hillary Clinton's people. Yeah, maybe take me to lunch first. <laughs> you're not making it to Dallas or wherever you're going no. to. You're mm -hmm. not going to make it there. I'm not making it there. Maybe Childress. Maybe I just stopped there. We're not doing that one. Okay. Um, favorite Beatles song? Favorite and this is from uh, Mike Haynes. Mike Haynes. Oh. Um, I can't get no satisfaction. That is from not actually the Beatles. 
That's, 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 the Led Stones. That's, that's the Rolling Stones. Led Stones. Um, Led Stones. My favorite Beatles song, I have so many. Uh, Revolution, you remember that one? Revolution's a good one. Um, uh, Hello Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I like the one where they're just like doing a bunch they of do, this. They do that in all the songs. Like just a bunch of that. Um, I think the Beatles are the greatest band ever. What do you think? Probably. The greatest pop band ever. They weren't pop. They played their own instrument. It was popular music. You know what pop stands for? Popular, I guess. I thought it was like soda They music. were a rock band, though. They were the best soda music. I don't like you right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what else we got here. <coughs> the last topic of today. The last topic. This is probably my last topic ever here. Well, I, I, that's a shame because it says, dude, when is our date? Dude, when is our date? Uh, okay, I don't, handwriting. Who's, who's I don't know who's writing this stuff. But dude, this when is our date? It looks like a, a woman's handwriting, but a woman with man hands. So This is the second time I've actually been asked on a date on this show. And for whoever's writing these notes, I'm, I'm in the same place all the time. I'm in the set or I'm in the newsroom at 214. You come find me. Find and me you too. tell me, or find, find me. this guy. I mean, like, as a kid say, we out here. <laughs> we out here, shoot. I don't know where here is, but we out here. If, you're, if you want to go land. on a date, we could do that. I just don't know who you are. So I mean. We, the triple date. So like you take the dinner and I'll take the dessert. That's fine. If you want to go on a date with both of us, why not? Yeah. Why and then we not? just end the night with some John Wick. Hey, let's go and do one more topic since it's your one last day. One more topic. That doesn't even make a sense. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, I want to make sure your last topic is a really good <laughs> one. Did just say about? It just had hieroglyphs. That doesn't make sense either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your last topic. Oh, pink, pink ink. I love the pink ink. Um, how do you feel about girls that wear makeup? Yay or nay? Ashley Moore. Ashley Moore, uh, to each his own. Makeup. If you want to wear makeup, wear makeup. If you don't want to wear makeup, you don't have to. I still love you, baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, unless your career is rodeo clown and you refuse to wear makeup, I want to have some qualms. If you're a rodeo clown, I prefer you wear makeup. I'm gonna have some qualms. I'm gonna be a qualm tree. If you're not a rodeo clown or you're not Charlie Chaplin, you don't have to have makeup if you don't want to. Charlie Chaplin, he he wore makeup. He did. He, he did wore makeup. Makeup. Well, that's all we have today. That's it. Hey. It's hey, man, it's been a, a it's pleasure been having great. you on the show. Yeah, I don't know how many times this makes for me. I feel like I've, am, have I been on Badger BS the most times? Yeah, I think so, yeah. You're tied I hold with, the record? Uh, you're, hold, uh, you're tied with Michael Baeza. Michael Baeza? Who's he's, Michael he's Baeza? He's a good friend of mine. He'll be on the show soon, actually. Oh, a friend? You have another friend? <laughs> I pay you know friend. I pay people to be my friend. Good friends. Friends. How friends. many people I pay? Yeah, he, yeah, he paid me. He paid me in this gum I have right here. Oh, my God. Yeah, he paid me in that gum. <laughs> Until next time, I guess I will see y'all when I see y'all. Thanks for stopping by.